everyone, welcome to today's morning message. We're going to use the tattoo tarot to begin with and see what other decks I'm drawn to. But let's find out what is the message for today. So, we are just going to see what cards come out. Um, as always, if you're new to these readings, these are just like general readings. We just see what messages come through. We don't have any specific intentions. Okay, so recently I feel like some of you have changed your mind about something. There's been this awakening, this re-evaluation, and it's very recent. This is like in the last couple of days or weeks, you've been maybe thinking, I want to change something here. There's something that you want to do differently. You're desiring this like new kind of approach to a situation. Some of you have been asking for some kind of support from your spirit team. You've been maybe like seeking answers or messages here. Um, you've really been kind of like looking to your spirit team for those, those answers, the clear path, the direction you want to move in. Some of you have been so confused over what's the right thing to do. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what this is about because it really is like you've just had this complete change of heart. Like you're just really seeking some kind of answers to your issues here. There's like a solution. Knight of Wands. Right, so some of you basically, you've changed the direction you want to move in. You have been through this awakening where you're seeing things differently and all of a sudden you really want to just do something different. You want to walk a different path. You don't want to be restricted anymore. Some of you are really feeling the burden of the journey you've been on, whatever you've been carrying, whatever you've been dealing with. It became too much. I feel like you had all this responsibility or you were taking on so much responsibility that perhaps you didn't need to and it became so heavy that you've had this change of mind and you suddenly want to do like a different journey. You want to explore, you want to be free. Some of you are a bit scared about speaking up about this. I'm shown a hesitation about taking the mic. So some of you, it's like you know you need to tell people around you what's going on but you're a little bit scared of being judged because I feel like you have... I don't know, very judgmental friends or family here, or there's just a few people around you who you're a little bit scared of. This could even just be society, maybe what you're about to do or say. It's like goes against like what society um, has conditioned us to believe is acceptable. So there's definitely this hesitation here. Please do not be scared because I feel like you're right, it did become too much. And in order for you to really put those burdens down, you're going to have to do things differently. So I'm excited here because it feels like a new ship is coming in, one that you've not explored before. You're about to get on board and you're about to explore some kind of horizons that you've been really wanting to explore. You've been really, you know, focused on... You've been really focused on other things that perhaps you've like forgotten what your journey was about and you're you're changing that you're realizing actually this is what I want to do this is what I want to see this is the life I want to live and you're starting to to do things for you which feels amazing here yeah we have this crossroads so look at these cards we have some of you really asking your angels your spirit guides for help here um it feels like what you're going through you really need some extra support with because it's it's difficult this feels like a very, very big transition. It's not something easy. It's a complete new journey. It's a new business. It's um, a new relationship, a new job, a new city. It's so exciting here. You're on the verge of this big breakthrough, but you are definitely at a crossroads right now. You're at that point. You're at the turning point, the point where everything changes. This is the moment. This is the moment where you have to think, what am I going to do? What is the next step I'm going to take? Because this next step is going to change the whole course of your future. This next step, this next decision you make really is going to change your journey in a very profound way. It feels so exciting, but you're so worried here. This five of swords, you're going to have to find your strength because your, your mentality right now, I feel like some of you are, you have these doubts, these negative thoughts. You have to really dig deep and find your strength because your ego is telling you, don't do this. And this is out of fear. Your ego is saying, look, I'm used to this. I'm comfortable. Like I know these are, um, these are heavy burdens, but come on, we've been doing it for so long. So let's carry on. Your ego is the one telling you to stay put. And it's asking you to stay put because it's scared of the unknown. It's scared on what lies in those new horizons, on what is not yet explored. 
But this, oh, it's a six of swords, not five of swords, but this is an important transition. The six of swords really is saying you have to find the strength here to do this journey. You have to find the strength um, to, you know, to, to set a sail, basically. You know, one quote, which it's always been like showing up for me at like the most unusual times, like it pops up on my Pinterest and stuff. And it's like, in order to explore new horizons, you have to be willing to lose sight of the shore. And it really is, you you know, telling you, you have to embrace that unknown. You cannot stay put. You cannot try and keep one foot on the shore and also explore somewhere new. That's just not possible. So you're being guided to think about, well, what is the journey I am on? How can I move forward into the unknown? How can I open my heart to the unknown and really trust where I'm being led? Your anxieties and fears are the only thing holding you back. That is all that, um, that is holding you back right now. So today you are being guided to work with your ego, to open up that dialogue. Um, I'm actually going to share on my Sacred Space Emily Instagram this week. I want to share a post on how you manage those negative thoughts. Because you can either like distract yourself from them, you can be very allowing and accepting of a negative thought, you know, let them rise up within you, but don't hold on to them. Or you can embrace a dialogue. You can actually communicate with your ego and you can say, okay, so this is X, Y, and Z what you're scared of. Well, this is why we don't have to be scared. And you can open up that communication to really convince yourself to change your mindset, to convince yourself that something is safe um, and to just give your ego that reassurance. But you have done the risk assessment. You know what you're doing and you're prepared. Um, and sometimes all it takes is that little conversation with yourself and suddenly your ego's like, okay, cool, yeah, I can see that you've planned this well, you've done the risk assessment, you know what it is um, is going on here, you know what is best for us, so I trust you. You know, it's like you have to try and get your ego's trust, you have to try and get your ego to be confident in your decision making. All your ego is trying to do is protect you, it's keep you safe, to stop you... Um, you know, running into potential risks, which means, unfortunately, your ego often wants you to stay in your comfort zone because what lies outside your comfort zone is a risk because it's unknown. So today, you're being pushed to work with your ego to break free these barriers, to change your perspective with this hanged man, to free yourself from any stagnancy, to stop being stuck, to start to open yourself up to these opportunities, to start to think about, well, what is the next step here? How can I free myself? How can I get rid of these limiting beliefs? It feels like a very exciting opportunity which is going to present itself. And you've already had that change of heart. You've already decided this is what I want to do. So now it's just about beginning, right? The, the mental decision is already made. And look, nine of cups. Look how happy this is going to make you. This is going to be total fulfillment. Whatever it is that you are preparing to start, you're being guided to really just begin. To really just start to pursue this, to be confident. Um, we have three other cards here which flipped. The Queen of Wands, the Knave of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So the Queen of Wands is asking you to be confident to lead here, to choose the direction, to follow your path, to do this with confidence and grace, knowing that you are protected. The Knave of Swords is saying, look, there might be some new learning to do. Perhaps some of you are starting completely afresh. This is a new beginning, but you have to study, you have to research, you have to work hard. It's not going to be easy. But then with the Knight of Swords, you're going to make a lot of very fast progress. Some of you right now, you're so indecisive, you're in and out about whether you should do this. Go for it. Be brave and go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Sometimes if, you know, we have to do things which uh, we want to do to see, yeah, either it's definitely something we should have done or maybe it's something that we didn't want to do and we regret the decision. And if we regret it, you can always turn around. The Knight of Swords is coming out today to remind you that if this doesn't work out, you can always go backwards. You can always go back to what you were doing. I really feel a big comfort blanket being put around you. You have this support system, you have this security net where if this doesn't work out, there is going to be a way back. 
For some of you, there's going to be a person coming in here to help with this real soon. You might have a lot of people around you who want to help. Some of these might be quite judgmental people. So some of you may be thinking, I don't want to tell people around me what I'm doing. But there's going to be a few who like do come forwards to help. I really feel there's going to be one person in particular, maybe someone a little bit younger. It feels like a family member, someone who's very supportive of your decision, who sees the future that you see. There is definitely someone here and they feel like family if they're not family. There's someone here who just sees your vision and is very supportive of it. You know, not everyone can see it. You know, sometimes we see things, we feel things, and not everyone can see the same things that we do. We all have different perspectives, but there's going to be one person in particular who really gets it, and we have the world. Oh my God, guys, the world is like the ultimate card of celebration, of completion, of fulfillment, emotional nourishment. It feels like the world here is showing up to say, look, this is going to work out. You are going to have the world at your feet. You have, you know... The world is your oyster. You have all these horizons to explore. It feels like there's unlimited opportunities for expansion and abundance here. But, and it's a big but, but you have to do this. You cannot stay here and expect the world because that's not where you find it. In order for you to really access all of this potential, these um, rewards, this like accomplishment, you have to start, you have to follow your intuition. I know you've had this change of heart about what you're doing and you have to act on that because it's only by acting on that that you get to experience all this success. Okay guys, I am gonna leave this reading here today for today's morning message. Send you all so much love. I hope you enjoyed today's message um, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for tomorrow's morning message.